Hello everyone, my name is Chia, I'm Ko and today I'm going to attempt to build a racing simulator which I found on the internet. The design is uh, uh, designed by simulator, that's S-I-M-U-L-A-R. So um, let me just go through the design with you. Yep. Yeah, so this is the design which I found on the internet. So this guy here, his name is, uh, his nickname, he go by the nickname of Simulator. So these are the design that he uh, has shared with everyone on the internet. So I downloaded the design and I went to look for the parts. So um, it's going to end up to look like something like this, where it's uh, going to put the chair over here, the, the racing seat over here, and your pedal and your steering wheel over here. So uh, let's go through the parts that I've found so far. And uh, we'll start with the cutting, we start with the uh, uh, assembly and gluing things together just to build the rig itself, right? So we go to the, we go to what we need. We need a measuring tape. This is a tape measure, right? And a pen to uh, label the pipes. And of course, this is the PVC pipe, which uh, recommended is a two inch pipe. By measurement, it's actually uh, 60 millimeter on the outer diameter and the inner di diameter will be roughly about 50 no oh, sorry hold on the the inside diameter will be about over here is uh roughly 40 46 millimeter 40 yeah 47 millimeter right and the wall thickness the wall thickness of this pipe is uh, six millimeter thickness, which is durable, lightweight, and it, it, it is strong. It, it can resist uh, pressure very strong, strongly, yeah. So we go to the parts that we need. Over here is a uh, 45 degree elbow, a T connector, and a 90 degree elbow, right? So we need go, we're gonna need lots of this and uh, the list of parts and the list of parts and the links are in the description you can refer to that right so i'm going to attempt to build this over here we have some uh, pvc pipes yeah pvc pipe i'm going to going going to cut it and uh, assemble it and then uh, we're going to see how it goes from here so let's get to it so i'm working with a power saw which is a not the hacksaw that we usually use because uh, to save time, so I need to uh, buy a power saw. So just to make cutting much easier and we can cut accurately, a clean cut, which is a straight cut right through. If, if we are using a regular saw, you know, saw the PVC pipe, right? It's very difficult to cut it straight. So um, using a power saw, you just press it down and cut right through. You get a straight, clean cut and it saves you a lot of time. So uh, let's get to it. Of course, if you are working with power tools, safety first. Thank you.